everybody and welcome back. Today I wanted to have a little chat with you. I really enjoyed our chat last week about my proposal story so I thought why not have another one. Um, I'm dressed a little different today. I've got my workout kit on because I want to talk to you about my fat loss journey. I Let's get comfy. I haven't started it yet and I thought it would be really cool if we could go along this little journey together because we all know that we've all eaten far too much chocolate over Christmas and we need to dial it back a bit. I am struggling to go without my daily chocolate fix um, and get back on it for the summer and just generally live a bit of a healthier, happier lifestyle. Um, so the reason I want to do this is because currently I am not really that happy with myself really. I know I eat far too much chocolate, I know I eat far too much rubbish and I don't eat enough vegetables. I am very naughty um, and I hope I'm not alone, I know, hopefully. I'm like 26 year old and I eat like a 6 year old to be honest. Um, so I am trying to put a few steps in place to kind of make myself healthier and happier in myself. Um, as I said, this is all about a me year and I'm doing everything I can to make me as happy and healthy as I can. Um, if you saw last week's uh, weekly vlog, you will have seen that I have rejoined my CrossFit gym. So I'm gonna be heading back there to kind of get my exercise element in because I'm a firm believer in all round health. I do not believe in just cutting calories and that is it. I am a real firm believer in exercise and essentially just keeping your body healthy. <laughs> it's not all about counting calories. You need to have muscle tone, you need to be flexible, you need to be able to move properly. Um, I know this firsthand because I got quite injured while I was dancing when I was younger and the doctors were just like there's literally nothing we can do for you it's an injury you're going to have to live with and i was struggling to walk upstairs at the age of 21 <laughs> which is not really the best kind of situation you want to be in um so i joined a crossfit gym like two years ago and literally within less than six months i think it was more like three knee pain gone <laughs> because i was stretching I was strengthening my muscles and generally moving better. Anyway, this is not what this is story is about. I need to go into like a CrossFit rant, but I don't want to. Yes, so I believe in having a healthy body as well as a healthy diet. So I am going to be going on kind of a nutrition plan as well. But before we get into how I'm going to be doing this, I want to talk about why. I've kind of touched on it a little bit of making just a happier, healthier version of me. But mainly it's because I'm going on holiday this year and I went on holiday again for the first time in quite a few years at the end of last year. And I just was not comfortable in a bikini, around the pool, and that's just not me. I'm not that person. I normally do not care what I look like and take me as I am. But literally, this is the first time I've been on holiday and really felt like self-conscious in a bikini and I didn't like it. So I'm going away again in May this year and I do not want to be putting myself in that position again. And the only person who put me in that position was me. So <laughs> it's only me that can fix it. And I know that not eating all these vegetables and eating like a six year old is going to do more damage than just my waistline. So I need to sort it out. So that is why I want to create a happy, happier, healthier version of me. So the how, how I'm going to do it. So as I've said, I've joined a CrossFit gym, any gym, I'm doing activities. Um, I also, what's this doing? I also may be helping my friend who has a dance school, um, teaching some of the kids as well. So I'm gonna be pretty active over the next so many months. Then to address the nutrition, I have decided to enroll with a nutritionist. Um, I won't tell you who, why, what, where at the minute because I want to make sure that it works first and I don't really want to recommend something that I haven't tried myself. So I've submitted all the forms, they're currently like working out all my data, having a laugh at how bad my diet currently is and going to get back to me with a nutrition plan. 
I am quite good at going to the gym. I get into a routine where it's just what I do after work and I'm good at pushing myself and I like exercise. It's really silly to say, but I do. I've always done exercise. I was in sports teams at school. I've danced since a very early age. I find it really odd not doing exercise. And essentially, I think this is the source of where my weight has come from because I stopped dancing around the age of about 21 and the weight has just crept up from there. There's it's because I stopped exercising is the only reason this weight has arrived <laughs> but it doesn't come off as easy as it went on or as fun because <laughs> it doesn't mean I can sit and eat chocolate all night <laughs> um yeah so that is what we're going to be doing um again another reason why I've kind of gone down the nutritionalist route instead of a diet is because I do not believe in diets I believe in changing my lifestyle my lifestyle at the moment is shocking as I've touched on and that is what I want to change. I want to have a happier lifestyle and healthier lifestyle going forward. So again, I'm expecting this nutritionist to kind of point me in the right direction, get me kind of into the swing of things. And then once this program is over, I will kind of just be able to, it will be the norm for me. Um, so that is what I am hoping. So what I'm trying to achieve um, I want to lose, well, before we go into what I want to lose, again with the just happier me, I don't really want to focus and fixate on figures. I want to be very, like, image conscious instead of numbers conscious. So, personally, I would rather fit into a specific pair of jeans instead of be a specific number on the scales because muscle mass, body mass, if you're training, it's all kind of swings and roundabouts and you may not actually lose any weight but you may lose like three dress sizes because you're training. So I want to focus on fat loss which is why this is called my fat loss journey um, because I don't want to lose weight. Well I do but I don't, it's really hard to explain. Um, I want to lose fat, I want to lose body fat um, if that in turn means that my weight goes down, fine, fair enough. If my weight doesn't go down but my muscle mass goes up, brilliant, even better. Um, but yeah, so my current statistics, I will share them with you. We're all adults and we all have a weight and we all have to kind of own that weight because we created it. So my current weight is, I was going to say 50, it's nowhere near 50. It is 73 kilograms, which is the equivalent to around 11 and a half stone. I never ever thought, if you told me like four years ago, five years ago, you will be 11 stone, plus 11 stone, I would have laughed in your face. But there is no way I can get that heavy. Um, but it has happened and it's all my fault. <laughs> um, so we're going to do something about it and I am also currently 36% body fat which is quite high for a lady. Ladies body fat should be in the region of 20s. Um, I'm not too sure what the actual statistic is. I think it's around 24% but do not quote me on that. Google it, it will tell you. Um, but yes, they are my current statistics. Um, I will insert a clip right now um, of my current body kind of where I'm starting from. So this will be my before video essentially, it's not really a picture. Um, I think it's very important for you to, to take before and after pictures because sometimes they are a lot more revealing than the scales as I touched on. It, who is that? you mind I don't even know where my phone is um yeah it is a lot more telling doing before and after pictures than just relying on the scales to tell you whether you've lost weight or not um so yeah that is currently where I'm starting from um I hope I can motivate you along the way and kind of keep you on it in January because we all fall off the wagon quite quickly in January but I don't want to I want to make this like a stuck to this is me for the rest of like 2017 and beyond um because I want to be healthier I want to be happier um 
so if you want to join me on my journey subscribe i'm going to be doing update videos like this i might keep them like a little chatty style like this um once a month to let you know how i'm getting on i will insert progress footage <laughs> shall we say as we go to see whether i'm making any progress or no progress i did do an identical video to this around may april may time last year which is still live who is that um it's still live and i will link it down below i said pretty much exactly the same things and epically failed i never followed it up but i was in a really bad place and didn't really have i don't know i wasn't kind of looking after myself at that point um but i'm definitely into it now so i want to help you guys on the way to a happier healthier version of you so if i can motivate you keep you on the track if you're feeling like a chocolate bar just tweet me and we'll have a chat about it and then we won't eat the chocolate bar do not eat the chocolate bar and secondly i will tweet if i want a chocolate bar <laughs> because my chocolate intake is daily it's not a, oh, i'll have chocolate once a week it is a very strange day if i do not eat chocolate that day <laughs> so there will be days when i'm craving stuff and i will need you lot to talk me down so we will all do it together and also in between my like monthly updates i'm going to be doing like little like what's in my gym bag like little nutrition tips if i've got any nice recipes to share with you things like that can just help us on our way but i've just noticed that this video is now like 13 minutes long and it was only meant to be a quick chit chat video with you so i'm going to go and film my before and i will see you all next month and hopefully we will have lost some body fat and we will be feeling a little bit more lean a little bit more trim um and if you are joining me make sure you right now pause this video in fact just watch it to the end it's only a couple of minutes longer and go and take your progress pictures now and then in a month's time when i share how far i've got you can tweet me or instagram me your pictures as well and we can all do it together this is my like reason for this video i want us all to be united in being happier and healthier for 2017 so i will see you all in a month thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and turn on that little bell if you don't want to miss my new videos and thank you ever so much for watching bye